Hi everyone, I'm Patrick. This is Jay Rickle Finnegan. We're the Move to Palm Beach team. Uh, today we're doing uh, a new segment called The Real Tea. Mm hmm. My favorite time of the day. All right, so what we're going to give you is information on real estate, uh, especially around Palm Beach County, things that are relevant, um, things to educate you. Today, this is the video you've all been waiting for. It's my favorite video. What is a 360 video hmm. and how does it work? Exactly. So, what we're going to show you today is a 360 video. Um, now, now, these cameras are different than a normal video camera. 360 cameras have multiple lenses uh, to make one image. And instead of making an image in the shape of a rectangle, they make a shape in a sphere. So everything is circular, it's round. Uh, you could pan and follow with me like this. Mm -hmm. I really like the effects of a 360 camera. Uh, they do many different things. For example... Can we do Tiny World? Yeah, it's called Tiny Planet. Tiny Planet. So let, let's get up here. So if you look at us here, this is called Tiny Planet. This is my favorite effect. It really is. It's not useful for a lot of things, but just kind of look cool and it shows you that this is not a typical camera. Right. Right. So we're going to walk and talk a little bit. The best part about a 360 camera is that you could really look in any direction. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually pan around and we're going to take a look at this place. We are at the Society for the Four Arts Garden today. Which is uh, in Palm Beach proper. Yes, it's on the island. It's this really beautiful garden, beautiful space. It's open to the public during the day. Um, I will give a proper tour of this some other time, but today I just wanted to use it because it's a beautiful open space for our uh, Demonstration. Video. Yeah. So, all right, so uh, like I said, they have multiple lenses. Our camera has two lenses. Uh, some have as many as eight or more. Uh, those get really heavy though, so notice I'm holding the camera. But you can't really see it yeah. because it can't see itself. That is a really important and kind of different feature is that these cameras cannot see themselves. And it's a very bizarre idea. Um, really I mean, but I guess cameras can see themselves anyway. But but this one, you know, you're looking at the entire space around it. But yeah. there's also something called the danger zone that, well, that's what I call it. Yeah. It's, it's where the uh, stitching comes together. So the two images produced by the camera are then stitched together. Should I go into the danger zone? Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, and if you look at Jay here, I'm gonna kind of wave this around him. Do you see the kind of weird effect? When you're up close to it, especially if I get really close to him, it gets kind of bizarre looking. It's not really helpful. <laughs> okay, so we usually have to stay, you know. This far away. Yeah, about this far away. It's the exact distance of the selfie stick. Okay, and then it's shaped kind of like I kind of like think of it as like a big M&M. &M. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. There we go. All right. Um, now, if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, you will have the full immersive 360 experience. For example, you can grab and drag. All right, you see that? And you can look around. Uh, my favorite way to view 360 camera uh, video is to have an iPad. Now, that sounds a little strange, but if you're on an iPad, you get the biggest screen possible and it still has the gyro inside mm -hmm. so that when you tilt the camera up or down, you can look anywhere, you know? So it's really like being in a, for, for uh, like a VR experience um, and a VR headset works as well. The VR headset is my personal favorite because it's actually like you're walking with us instead of like holding it and like looking around. The VR headsets really are not that expensive. You can get, what, which one is that, the Google Google one? Cardboard, um, yeah. I mean, it's it uses your smartphone, so you already spent your money on your smartphone. Mm -hmm. And then the interface is uh, very easy to use. Uh, if you're on YouTube, you just click the cardboard button and you load it into the VR headset and you're ready to go. So that costs anywhere I've seen from $5 to $25 if you want a slightly nicer one. When I bought the VR headset from Google, it cost $6.50 on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So that's really affordable for anybody. Okay, let's talk this way. You got it. So um, now let me see here. So what are the advantages of having a 360 video in real estate? Yes. Well, let's hear something. Okay, so the reason why I love 360 videos in real estate is because imagine if you're on a trip and a house comes on the market that you really, really like, but you are gonna be on the trip for a couple months. So you call your agent, hopefully us, and you say, can you please do a 360 video tour of the house? We say, sure, we get permission from the other agent to do it. Yes. And we go in, and as you can see on some of our other videos, you can actually take a tour of the entire house through a VR headset like you were touring it with us right now. It's really beneficial because you can stop things, you can look around, 
it's not like you are going to be looking at like pictures, um, you know, like a picture um, slideshow. Yes. You're actually there. Now, uh, yes. now the major thing I want to stress is, I really think that even if you have the 360 technology, you should definitely go see the house yourself too. Yes. Because you don't know the neighborhood. You want to know what the smell of the house is like. Yeah, houses have a smell. Yeah. And most of the time it's a good smell, but what if it's a bad smell? Exactly. So, um, you know, I know it's this new trend to like not even look at a house in person and just buy it online. But, you know, th this is just a first step. This is a way to introduce people to the property and, you know, show them around. And like he was speaking, it's good to do uh, private videos. Like we could, you know, you can call us up and, you know, we can go look at a video for you. Say you're like in California. Yes. Yep. And and we can tour our house with you uh, and we can send that to you privately. Uh, but we do need permission uh, from the broker mm -hmm. or from our own listing uh, to do it uh, for the public. So something you can see on YouTube. Exactly. Right. Now, um, if you're seeing this in 2D, it's because you're probably on Instagram. Now, I wanted to talk about that for a second. Instagram said they were going to do 360 videos. So I really hope they like do that someday. Like a couple years ago, they said yeah, that. Yeah, like two years ago. Um, so maybe we'll get a chance to uh, have 360 video on Instagram soon, but otherwise the only place you're going to be able to see it at the moment for us is going to be on YouTube and on Facebook. Yes. Right. So anyway, uh, thank you. It's been really fabulous. Glad to show you around. It was so uh, much fun, guys. There's more instructions in the description below mm -hmm. that'll tell you in detail how to use a 360 camera. I hope this is a new experience for you. You'll keep using them later. So, And if you're looking for an agent, please feel free to reach out to us. We're more than happy to help you in any kind of like real estate need that you have in the area. That's the whole point of these videos to say exactly. that we could be your agent. We're not like, oh, they're on TV, they're far away. No, no we work for you. <laughs> yes, precisely. <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, nice to see you. Have Thanks a great for day, guys. Uh, being here on the real tea. Exactly, the real tea. I'm I'm sure we're gonna have somebody just come get us for that one. But Probably. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's like so vague. Can it be copyrighted? I don't know. I don't know. It's stupid. It's fun. Nice to see you. See you next have time. Have a great one. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>